Hi there guys, we all know that our Teslas have loads of cameras to see and perceive the environment. Of course, here in Australia, we also have ultrasonic sensors. But then Tesla wants to go into Tesla Vision. Have you ever wondered how many cameras are there and why we did not have access to these before? Well, a brand new update has dropped. This is 2023.20.4.1 here in Australia. And we have this right now. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, this is National Tesla and all. This is 2023.20.4.1 and let's see what the features are there in this particular update. First up, we'll go and look at the big one. This is inside of service and if you go into camera preview, you'll see that a lot more cameras are now available for you to have a look at and this is the cabin camera. We've always had access to the cabin camera even in live view but now we can see in the front camera panel or the sensor panel, there is a front main camera, a front wide camera, and a front narrow camera. Of course, this isn't hardware three. If you're a hardware four car, it only has two front cameras, of course. We did have access to the front uh, left and front right repeater cameras before, but we had no access to the door pillar cameras, but now we do have access to them. Left door pillar and right door pillar cameras are now accessed through the camera preview menu. Of course, we do have the rear view and the main cabin camera as well over here, like we saw before. So we have now access to a fair number of cameras than before. Of course, there is no new features that have come up from this. You can't see this in live view of sentry mode, but now you have access to these. I'm sure more features will drop very soon. Let's look at the next one. The next one is still in the service menu. So if you go into wheel and tires, you can see that you can now access a new sub menu which says tires. You can say you can reset mileage since last tire service after each rotation or replacement or a swap. And this is now season based as well. You can now choose a season. You can say all season or summer, or you can say winter tires. At here in Australia, we just use all season and summer because we are a land of perpetual sunshine. So. That is there and you can now put that inside that. Of course, the next thing is uh, with regards to X size. So if you go into display and then you can now change the size of the text from standard to large. And you can say it requires a system restart. It says if you restart, it will show you a larger font. A minor change in the trip odometer. So here it's been updated Instead of displaying kilowatt hour, the current odometer will display the number of minutes elapsed since the car was put into drive. And so a slight change there, not too much there. Okay, the next one is the passenger climate temperature. So you'll see when there is no occupancy on the passenger side, the passenger side temperature is no longer shown. It's only the driver side temperature that's shown when somebody sits on the passenger side and the passenger side temperature will also be activated so there's a little bit more space and now you can just use that to do the uh, volume control so when the passenger sits there this volume control will shift to the left corner and then the passenger temperature will also be shown so right now only the driver's temperature is shown when only one one person is sitting inside the car and it will now change based on passenger occupancy so these are the updates in this particular version they do say that the fsd beta is starting to get merged in this uh, not a Tesla app does say that, but of course it is not pertinent here in Australia. Although there are two cars that seems to have Tesla FSD. I have another video and I'll leave a link to that in the description of this video. So do check that out too. So these are the nice features that have come up. My favorite one, of course, being the camera preview. So we have lots more cameras that can be seen. If you like what I'm doing, a, a subscription to the channel will be highly appreciated. And if you're trying to buy a Tesla Model 3 or Model Y of your own, kindly consider using my referral code. It'll be highly appreciated to both of us get credits and we can use that against supercharger kilometers as well, as well as some other merchandise too. I'll see you guys in another interesting video very soon. Until then, this is National Tesla in the Gong, signing off. Peace.